Welcome, uh, fellow sailors, to my second little tutorial about trawler fishing, this time with the Hermes. Remember, my first tutorial is about a Baluna boat, which you should also uh, take a look at, because now I would like to point out the differences and, and what you have to do in addition compared to the Luna bow. So first let's take a look. The net has been already deployed and is uh, now at 100 meters and I uh, reeled out 150 meters of line. And as you can see, there are already some fish coming to us. There has been a bug which I, well, I was talking about in the Luna Boat tutorial, and this has been fixed. It's about uh, the percentage. The 40% uh, did start rising before even the 20% was completely full. This has been fixed, and um, thanks to our great developers, especially Sam uh, Jeeves, who did this. Uh, there was another problem at the Hermes with the net after the haul. The net uh, stayed on deck and we couldn't deploy it a second time. This has been fixed also, but I'll get back to this issue uh, when we will haul in the net. Now, you notice the Scanmar monitor looks exactly the same like on the Luna Bow. This is exactly the same. I have on top left uh, the depth of the net, I have the length, and I have the Hox sensor, where you see that right now on level 6 there are fish coming in. You see that with the O, the opening, means that our net is now open at 46, 48, 49, 50 meters, which is okay. And we already filled the net up to, what is that, 35%, let's say. Now, the Hermes net capacity is 100 tons, by the way. So we saw that the speed is a little bit slow, so i just give a little bit more throttle. Remember, trawler speed is perfect at... Uh, four knots or something. Now the sonar monitor also looks exactly the same like on the Luna Bow. Haha, <laughs> yeah. The difference is that you uh, catch different types of fish, different kind of fish. With the Luna Bow you catch Pollock and Mackerels. So the Luna Bow is the only ship which can catch mackerels. Now we are on the Hermes. And the Hermes can't catch mackerels, but all the other. So, what we are doing right now means that we will catch pollock and cod, redfish and so on. Check the in-game wiki to learn about the season. Uh, of the year when this fish is available. Now the difference on the Hermes is that we do fish processing on board. This is not a pelagic trawler like uh, the Luna Bow who stores live fish in, in tanks. We process it. And first of all we uh, need to make the same like you probably know from uh, the Vibeka Katrin with this uh, gutting machine and the next step would be that you need to freeze it. So Kristen is uh, freezing the fish right now for us and she's very good at this as you can see on her level. So, the fish which came out of the machine 
is frozen first, and the next and last step is stagging the fish, which is Sander doing right now. So at the end you get stacked frozen fish, and that's the only which you can sell at the port. You can't sell fresh fish, frozen fish, you can't. You will get no money for it, it will stay in the storage if you go to port with that. So on the Hermes, everything needs to be frozen and stacked. That is why our crew now has to do a lot of jobs. And that is why our burgers make sense now, because uh, burgers help to recover faster. And so I guess that Ruth will soon be too tired to work. <laughs> and then we can use the hamburgers to make her bring her back again. Let's uh, take a look in the meantime on the on the scanmar. Well, hmm, not much fish around. All right. Again, a Skedmar is exactly the same like I showed you on the Luna boat. So, with not much fish around, let's start reeling in so that I can show you the whole process with hauling in the net. Remember, uh, the lines have to be maximum 25 meters away. It automatically stops at 20 when you're reeling in like now. And then you can uh, order the crew to all in the net. So as you can see, um, there are two crew members resting. Uh, the reason why is Ruth is a new crew member and she is not very good. She is not very fit and that's why she is slow and she is processing only 450 fish. And everybody else is much better on freezing and stagging and that's why uh, no use uh, to have a second crew member uh, on the stagging and freezing right now. So I hired her because I always uh, like to hire cheap personnel, which only gets uh, three or four percent share. Because you can, of course, you can hire uh, very experienced people, but they get a higher share, and you will pay this higher share always in the future from from every time you uh, go to port and and, and sell. Uh, your fish. So I like to uh, hire those three percent people and then train them to higher levels. Okay, now let's get ready to all in the net. We need four people on that job. And uh, as soon as the length is below 25, we can click on the bottom right now. There you go. And uh, the same like with the Luna Bow. First, the doors will come back on that. Now, this is a three-step animation, not four. Three-step animation. And there is no problem, no bug with attaching the net or something like on the Luna Bow. This works now and everything is fixed. Here are the doors and there comes the net. Looking like, uh, well, like a old anaconda from South America pulling up. All right. So when the net is uh, pulled all the way to the end, then we will rise the middle of it so that the fish can then come out. Remember, and that's... Uh, <coughs> Uh, the big criticism on uh, this kind of uh, 
a ground trawler fishing, all the fish in the net are dead. Why? Because they uh, push themselves and they are just squeezed to death. And uh, all, all the time and all the hours we, we pull this net after our ship. So we got Pollock, 36 tons. Well, no mackerels. Why are, where are the mackerels? I don't know. Sometimes we get mackerels, sometimes only a handful of mackerels. Um, I have no idea why. Okay, so switch back the team because uh, we could now deploy the net right away. And there has been the bug that you can't deploy it a second time as long as the net stays on deck. This has been fixed, thanks to Sam Jeeves. And now we are on version 107, by the way. And uh, everything is fine with it. So we need to take up some speed. Remember, four knots. And I always... Uh, will do a general course to the north, to the west, to the south, to the east, to make our navigation easier. And then click to deploy the net. Let's have a look. Uh, okay, there are some fish somewhere below us. And now we can uh, see that Ruth is really not very fit anymore. <laughs> Okay, so net has been deployed and we can uh, pull our crew guys over to work on with the freezing and stagging. Another look. Uh, there are some fish. We will get some more on this run, I guess. So what about the burgers? Why now this makes sense? If you do a mouse over on your crew members, you will have a red saying minus 0 0.5 an hour, which means Ruth is losing uh, 0 0.5 power each hour she's doing that job. Now Raw, who is freezing, only loses 0 0.3. Why? Because freezing is not that hard. And uh, since he is a very good one, his, his uh, green bar is still nearly at 90%. But here you see, stagging takes 1.5 power uh, each hour. Now, when they rest, uh, they get back one each hour each hour. Now when you g let's give Sander one burger. Then it will rise to plus two for one hour. And now using this hamburgers makes sense. On the other boats you never needed really you never needed hamburgers but on the hermits you do need look ruth is her her power bar is nearly at zero completely white i guess she will go up ah oh, there it is okay she's too tired to work yeah yeah baby now it's burger time and yeah we wanted to give Sander one as well, but first let's put Christian on the job so that the uh, automatic gutting will move on. And uh, now you see that this changed to plus two an hour, like I said, and Ruth as well. Now, this means that for one hour they are eating and are resting at a plus two rate. By the way, you can, after this one hour is over, you can give them a, a second burger and a third burger and so on. You know, there is no limit. Uh, here, they will eat all the burgers for sure. Well, you see, Christian is not good at the machine gutting. Uh, well. 
Uh, that is, I mean, I, I uh, hired Ruth uh, new. And I like to hire people at a level of 3%. Uh, that they only get 3% share from our sales. And uh, of course, in every port there are better ones who but then get 5%, 6%, and you need to give this share every time, every time. So that's why I like to uh, hire cheaper guys and just train them because they stay at 3%, doesn't matter which level they reach in the future. All right, so already some fish, and there are some fish, and here they are deep. So our net is now at one between 150, 180 meters. Uh, that is really deep, but that's fine if you take a look at the sonar screen where the fish are right now. The next fish boats we might approach. Again, the Scanmar is exactly the same like on the Luna Bow. What differs is that you have the work, you, that you have the fish processing, and that you uh, really need your team, that, you, that now burgers make sense, and remember over time they level up. They level up on their strengths, and they level up on the job they are doing right now. So, uh, if you take a look, five crew members are perfect for uh, the Hermes. If you want to have a sixth one, I would recommend to get one who can stagger as well, because this is ju the job at minus 1.5 which really uh, costs uh, a lot of power and, and then that um, has an impact on the stamina. So that was uh, everything about the Hummers. I hope you get some ideas and I uh, am there for you at the Discord server in the text chat and also on voice if you have any questions let me know. Enjoy and uh, good fishing. Hope to talk to you soon. Bye for now.